Well, my name is Gabby. And I'm Pat. And what are we doing today, Gabby? Today we're filming the stunning Lunar Orange 2023 Kia Soul EX Plus. This is probably one of my favorite colors on the Kia Soul. And if you are pretty new here, this may be your first time seeing the refreshed Kia Soul. So it's got a new headlight design, of course, our new Kia logo, and a new gauge cluster. There's a lot of excitement in this vehicle, but it still retains the classic Soul's Soul. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we do these live videos almost every single day. We've missed two days this week, I'm sorry. Um, but every single weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll go live on either a Kia or a Hyundai vehicle. Sometimes we'll even bring in Tesla, Genesis, just other brands to compare. Um, me and Pat do these videos, me and Mike do these videos, and we are members or staff at a real dealership. So we have three dealerships and three reasons why we do these videos. Do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the number one reason we do it is uh, you may already own a Hyundai or a Kia, mm -hmm. and we just want to add value by showing you everything we can about your car. Yep. Number two, you may be considering a new vehicle. We want you to add Kia or Hyundai or both of them to your selection list. Just there's so much value in these vehicles, and we want to talk all about it. And lastly, we are a real dealership. Yes, we have so three. We have three <laughs> dealerships. If you are going to buy a Hyundai or a Kia and you live in Ontario, Buy it from us. Buy it from us. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for Kia specifically, our dealership is located in Brantford, Ontario. That's where we film every day in our Brantford Kia studio. But we also have two Hyundai stores, one in Brantford, about 10 minutes down the road, and then one in Owen Sound. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so you may be not watching this video live, and so you can go ahead and skip to the three minute mark. But we're also going to show you how um, you during the week at 2 p.m. Eastern, you can join, join us. in, and then you get to chat with us, which is probably our favorite part. Yes. Okay, let's show them. So typically we start these videos off with those intros and then I'll show you guys how to do this. So you just have to go to Kia, um, the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube. This is what it should look like. And then if it's a weekday at around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll have under our live category or home, an upcoming video. Now once 2 p.m. hits, you can refresh your page and give it a second. That upcoming video will now turn into a red icon that says live. All you have to do is click on that video It'll load you in. You may have to watch an ad. Usually, yeah, it's a Subaru ad, so we're not going to pay too close attention to that. But you'll see on the right side, we have our live chat box. So that's where you guys can say hello. You can ask us questions. Towards the end of the walk around, me and Pat will come back to our camera over here and read through the questions, try to answer as much as we can, even chat with you guys. So uh, stay tuned. And if there's anything on your mind, let's hear it. I'm just going to skip this ad, and we'll get right into the vehicle. So let's take a look. This front end is amazing. Um, I love filming it, especially in our snow white pearl color because it looks exactly like a stormtrooper. Star Wars fans, you need this vehicle. Um, even on red though, it looks stunning. Full LED headlights. We have no LED fog lights. That's only in the GT line limited. However, here's something that all the Soul trim levels share and it's what's under the hood. It's the heart of the vehicle. And that's a two liter four cylinder engine, gasoline engine. Um, you also have an IVT transmission, so that stands for Intelligent Variable Transmission. It operates like an automatic, but it's super, super fuel efficient. And contrary to CVTs, it is quite smooth. So no rugged or elastic band feeling. It doesn't feel too snappy. Now I will pop open the hood. A lot of you guys ask for that. We'll show you guys what's under there. For horsepower, it's 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque. And this is a hydraulic hood. So check it out. There she is. Engine comes with the vehicle, of course. And then one of my favorite features, or I guess styling elements on this vehicle, is how the Kia logo is integrated into this glass bar here for your main headlight unit, or attached to your main headlight unit. And you still have a couple pieces of um, the same elements that are in your grill here. So there is kind of a serrated rectangular design into it. And then down here, I'm just kind of blinding myself right now. These lights are very, very bright. So if you do live near country roads or you travel frequently, you will definitely be able to see where you're going. We do have a radar sensor built into this grill here, and that's gonna work with your forward collision avoidance. Now, not only does that pick up vehicles, it's also gonna pick up pedestrians and cyclists with this vehicle. So if you do live in the city, I mean, downtown Brantford's pretty busy now, Toronto, GTA, oh my gosh, this car's very smart. <laughs> it's a great city car, um, and the reason I say city car is because you have the space of an SUV, but the fuel efficiency of a sedan. So it's a very, very fuel efficient city capable vehicle. Now we'll come over to the wheels. This is one of my favorite things again about this specific trim level. So added on from the trim level below are these 17 inch alloy wheels and they have a stunning design. You can only get this wheel on the EX Plus trim. They look really, really nice and on every color too. 
For our mirrors, they do have a turn signal repeater, and then I'll have Pat flip over to this side to show you guys our blind spot detection light. So it's a little icon on your glass there, and that's gonna light up when there's a vehicle either in your left or right blind spot. Now, not only will it light up, but if you do turn your turn signal on while there's a car in your blind spot, it will alert you with an audible alert and a visual alert, and it will provide braking assistance to keep you back in your originating lane if you try to verge over, merge over, sorry. All right, now let's head to the back. Another one of my favorite parts of this vehicle, the soulness. There's so much soul in this vehicle. <laughs> so we have almost a boomerang shape for your taillights, and these are all as also LEDs. Your third brake light is also an LED, but it's not lit up right now. Soul logo on the far left, and then key in the center. Your backup camera is just right under here. So if you do own this vehicle in the winter, you want to make sure you clean off any snow or ice that may be there, so you can take a look at your beautiful high-definition backup camera. You'll see our tailgate is hydraulic, so super easy to lift. You really only have to press the release button and then it does most of the work by itself. So it's almost like an automatic lift gate, kind of, not really. And then for trunk space, it's, it's a super boxy vehicle, but boxy good. So you have a lot of height, a lot of width, and these seats do fold down. They're super easy to knock down actually, so let me show you this side. If you see on the very top by the shoulders, there's latches, so you can flip them over in a 60-40 split and they go almost completely flat down. So whether it be pets or just general cargo, there's a lot of room in the Kia Soul if you need it. Underneath your floorboard here, you do have a spare tire. Plus there's a bunch of extra room over here. And then a secret trick you may not know if you do have a Soul or most Kia SUVs have this, you can drop this floorboard lower and then give yourself even more cargo room. And not only that, there is a 12 volt in the corner there and there is lighting back here, so if you are putting anything in the back at nighttime, you have some, some sight, some vision, <laughs> and then you can plug in any sort of small appliance. Um, if you go to the beach, you can bring an inflator, plug it in there, super handy. A beautiful, beautiful design. I find whenever I film a soul, we get some soul hate, we get some soul love. It's a vehicle that you either love or hate. Um, Pat, how do you feel about the Kia Soul? Yeah, I love the Soul. You love the Soul? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, so, it's so different. It's definitely our quirkiest car. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, before I worked here, I didn't know how I felt about it. And then I drove one. It is such a comfortable vehicle to drive because it's truly a mix of a sedan and an SUV or a small car and an SUV. So fun fact, it was the first car that when my girls got their driver's license, that's what you, they drove. Was you let them soul. drive? Yep. Yeah. It's, and I understand it because you, you, know, you can see more of the road, big open windows. It's very spacious. All right, before I hop in, I'll have Pat quickly show what the driver area looks like. So you do get cloth manual seats on the EX Plus trim. They are heated for driver and passenger and you get three different levels of heat. You also get a heated and leather wrapped steering wheel. Oh my goodness, I, I can't stop talking about a heated steering wheel. Even now, today I think it's 25 degrees. This morning driving to work I had my heated steering wheel on. It's, it's an issue. <laughs> All right, now inside the vehicle, you still get some more funky design going on over here. So even in our base models, we have this uh, almost like a web, spider's web design there. Nice door handles, automatic express up and down windows for driver and passenger, and then of course your window locks and mirror controls. Over here, we'll have our brightness adjustments. So because you have this cool new digital display, so it's not fully digital, this is the portion you can actually change and control. Your speedometer and tachometer have this cool design now. So this is new for 2023. We also have it on the Kia Sportage. I absolutely love it. You can adjust it quickly on the fly. So if it's too bright for you or too dim for you, you can make it work. Now also we have our traction control off and then our auto stop and start. So here's another feature that's great for fuel efficiency and you can turn it off if you don't like it. I know some of our customers aren't a fan. It'll shut off your engine when you approach a stop. So whether it's at a stoplight or you're just idling your car for a second, it'll shut off your engine, but it'll keep your media and infotainment stuff on so it doesn't truly feel like your vehicle completely shut off. A lot of the times on some of our vehicles, you won't even notice it shut off unless your window's down and you can actually hear your engine from outside. Now for the steering wheel. On our left side, we have all our Bluetooth and media controls. So here you'll see our talk button or hands-free mode, which will change your media mode, whether it be AM radio, FM radio, Apple CarPlay. And then over here, we have our adjustments. So we can go to the next song, next radio station, last radio station, just cycle through whatever you're listening to. And then a little star. So this star is one of my favorite buttons because you can preset it to do whatever you'd like. You can set it to be your end call button or take you straight to Bluetooth audio. Once you 
purchase or own this vehicle, you'll find out what you find yourself going to most frequently, and then it's a quick shortcut there. To the left of that, we have our answer button for phone calls and then our volume controls. Um, I know volume controls doesn't seem like much, but one of my favorite things about this is that if you press it down, it'll mute whatever you're listening to. So if you have to talk to somebody in the back or if you're taking, um, placing an order at the drive-thru, it's super easy to just shut everything off quickly. In the center, we have our horn and our key logo. And then on the right, we have some driver assistance. So on the very, very right of the right side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise control. You can quickly turn it on with that button up there. Set your speed with the plus and minus marks and then pause or restart. To the left of that, we have our steering assistance. So this vehicle will use a camera just behind or I guess in front of our rear view mirror here that monitors the lanes ahead of you. So not only is it gonna keep you from departing from your lane, it's actually gonna see the curves of the road and take steering correction. So it's not gonna feel like the vehicle is bouncing you around like playing ping pong with your car in the lane. It's actually just gonna guide you if that makes sense. It's very, very smooth. It doesn't feel like it's taking over. I definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't test driven a Kia or Hyundai with it already. And then to the top of that, we have our little notepad button, which lets you cycle between your different menus in your gauge. So check this out. We have our lane assist there, our drive info, which will say our fuel efficiency, last time we were fueled, or your just trip meter. User settings, where you can play around with some extra settings. Let's go to driver assistance and I'll show you guys. You can set your speed limit warning in the country, <laughs> speed limit assist. So you can actually have your vehicle take corrective action if you go over the speed limit. And this is great if you're someone who likes to frequently travel to the States, um, just so you know, you're not going over. Warning volume, driver attention warning. So this vehicle will actually let you know when the car ahead of you has left. So this is great for drive throughs or stop and go traffic. And then there's parking safety, so rear cross traffic. It's gonna use your backup camera and your um, side sensors to see if there's any cars approaching from behind. So if you're parked in a busy parking lot and there's two big vehicles beside you, it may be hard to see if anyone's coming. This vehicle will give you a warning and it'll tell you which side it's coming from. Absolutely great feature to have. Now I will invite Pat to join me inside the Kia Soul. On a side note, Christian M asked if you do a horn test. How many likes are we at right now? <laughs> I will uh, do it. 18. 18. 16, sorry. Oh. <laughs> so how many do you need to do to do a horn test? I think 30 safe. Okay. All right, let's double that. <laughs> and sorry, I should have mentioned before I sat in the seat, um, although it is manual, there's lots of corrections you can do to adjust your seat. So you can raise it. You can also lower it. <laughs> you can adjust the backrest. I always stick my arm out so I don't get <laughs> and then, of course, if you grab the bar between your legs, you can move yourself closer or further from the steering wheel. Same thing for the driver or the passenger seat. So Pat has all the same controls as me and get himself nice and comfy. Now, Pat, speaking of comfy, how do you feel in the Kia Soul? Can I grab the camera and show you? Sure. Okay. So Pat is a tall person. Like 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two, and I have tons of space up here. Yeah. And that's tons of leg room. Tons of leg room. So you're comfy in the Soul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Right. I could be six, seven and still comfy. Yeah. That's the thing. I have, we have a lot of very, very tall customers that drive Kia Souls and they'll come out of the car. I'm like, oh. Huh. It's because they fit. Yeah, they fit. <laughs> um, I'll talk about our main screen here. So this is our eight inch touchscreen display. And let me tell you, this has some technology that even our most expensive vehicles do not have. So the Telluride, the EV6, for example, they don't have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but you get that in the Kia Soul. So what's the benefit of that? You, if you're someone who forgets your phone charger, you can still have your maps connected, your music connected, just anything you would see in your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on your screen without a cable. And now you can still charge your phone by putting it in the wireless phone charger just under here. So once again, if you don't have a cord, you're still okay in the Kia Soul. Not only that, in this main screen, you can still have Bluetooth connection, still listen to FM and AM radio, um, answer phone calls, send text messages through the car's info, infotainment voice assistant, and change your setup so you can change your date and time, all that fun stuff, you know? <laughs> so we'll close that. Um, I'll talk a little bit about some of the buttons. So anywhere or any of these buttons here, I can actually just cycle through in the screen as well. So I have a, my setup button, but if you saw, I could also just press that up here. It's really nice if you're on the fly and you memorize where all your buttons are, you don't have to take a look at your screen, you could just press whatever you like. So if you're team buttons, you'll love this car. 
Underneath there, we have our hazards. Sometimes I like to point that out because they're in different spots in all our cars. And then our AC and heat controls. So this is manual. So of course you'll get your temperature here. Press your AC button, heated rear windshield, which also heats your side mirrors. Fan speeds right over here. And then either recirculated air or fresh air. But look at this, this is a little Easter egg. So in a lot of vehicles, it just shows a standard sedan's body. This looks like a Kia Soul. <laughs> is that not so cool? <laughs> So you I don't think I've ever out. noticed that. You never noticed that? You gotta pay attention, Pat. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> All right, and then of course the direction of the air. Um, down here we got some more techie stuff. So a 12 volt right over here, a center USB. This is what you're gonna use for software updates or if you wanna put in music through, let's say an iPod, um, you'll use the center USB. This actually accepts media transfer, not just for charging. Then on the right, here's something very modern about this car. It has USB-C cables. So if you have a newer phone, you may have been confused when they gave you the cord and it's, it's different, it's not a regular USB. USB-C is charged way faster, so if you do need to charge your phone very quickly, try to bring a cord with you and try to make it USB-C. If not, you got your wireless phone charger. Here's your heated seat buttons, so two different levels. Oh, I think I said three earlier. It's only two, I'm sorry guys. And then drive mode select. So over here, you can choose between two different drive modes, either normal or sport, and check how it changes my gauges. See how it's uh, purple, now it's red. So you'll never forget what drive mode you're in. Now, if you're not a fan of either the purple or the red, you can switch it to be whatever you'd like. Um, over here, we got our passenger heated seat and then our heated steering wheel. Here's your gear shift, so you can switch it over to left for Tiptronic. Sorry, that's um, branded already. That's from Audi. What do we call it? Just manually, manual gear select, I guess. <laughs> Pat's like, I don't know. I got nothing. There's no trademark name, I guess, for, for Hyundai yet. Um, but however, whenever you do this, it will automatically shift your car into sport. So fun little fact there. I'll put the car in reverse to show you guys our backup camera, which still has the plastic sticker on it. So it looks a little bit fuzzy, but it's a great backup camera. And when the engine's on and you are reversing, when you move your steering wheel, your parking guidelines move with you. So it makes parking very, very easy. If you're a fan of <laughs> sunglasses, you we still have a sunglass holder. somebody ask about that. The sunglass holder? <laughs> yeah, they did. So it's crazy. A lot of our newer vehicles aren't having sunglass holders anymore, which is nuts to me because, I mean, you still wear sunglasses, right? But you got that in the Kia Soul. You also have your light controls up here and your sunroof controls. So this is the entry level model to the sunroof for the Kia Soul. If you need a sunroof, you got to get the X Plus if you're in Canada. Opens up all the way. There we go and then you can also tilt it. So if you're not a fan of too much air getting into your car or messing up your hair like me, this is perfect because you get a little bit of fresh air. All right. Going back to our previous conversation, I think they call it Shiftronic instead of Tiptronic. Do they? I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. Okay. Well, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna check. I'm probably still gonna call it Tiptronic because that's engraved in my brain, but okay. you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, now we'll take a look at the back of the Kia Soul. So I did fold that seat down. Um, I might move your front seat up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because I've got it all the way back. Yes. <laughs> so while there is still a good amount of leg room with this seat all the way back, you won't be able to bring that seat up from a fold. But here's how you can unfold your seat. You literally just grab it and lock it into place. It's super, super easy. All right, now we'll hop in and I moved Pat's seat to about where mine is, and I did move my seat back a little bit. Um, leg room wise, guys, I'm, I'm very comfy. So sitting in the center seat, which no one really ever wants to sit in, I have a good amount of room. You can see my knees are quite some distance away from the center console in front of me. And not only that, but we do have some amenities back here. So come on, let's take a look. Two USB C's in the very center here. And then you do have a storage pocket behind the passenger seat. The backs of the seats are a plastic material, so super easy to clean, especially if you have pets or kids. I like to kick their feet up. And then in the very center, let's pull this down. We have a cup holder and armrest. I think one of my favorite things about this vehicle, of course, the shape of the vehicle allows for a lot more headroom and just space around you. The floor is quite flat over here. So most center seats have a very, very high hump here, which makes whoever's sitting in the center kind of have to hunch over and almost in the fetal position. <laughs> You're quite comfy here because you can have your feet almost completely flat and you don't have to put a leg on each side and share it with your 
passengers. So it's quite comfy over here. Pat, do you want to do a pat test? Sure. <laughs> they want to see what a full-size adult looks like. Okay, I am a grown-up. I'm a grown-up. <laughs> also, side note, the color looks fantastic. Yeah, so fun. same thing. Like, there's so much headroom. I could easily be six inches taller and still, still fit. Yeah. So, legroom wise, you're all yeah, right. Yeah, legroom is no problem. Yeah. The Kia Soul is <laughs> one of our it's surprising. viewers is from Oakville, and I think he said he's six foot three. And he has We've a Kia Soul. A, uh, and Stephen Winter, what does Stephen drive? I don't know what Stephen drives. He's got Kias in his family. Yes, yes, his sister, I believe. Okay, let's head back to the screen and answer some questions. He said it's Shiftronic. Yep, oh, wrong way. <laughs> okay, Kia Rio. Stefan or Steven drives a Kia Rio. Yeah, okay, that's right. And he's six foot three. Ooh. So obviously, legroom is pretty decent in our product. Yeah. Um, Christian, who also asked uh, for the horn test, which I think we're going to have to do, oh, um, yeah. was asking if the Soul is a good seller. And so it used to be that Soul was one of our top volumes. It, it, it was, you know, either one, two, three, or four every month. Um, right now, uh, we're just not getting as many of them. They kind of shifted the business plan more towards Seltos because yeah. a lot of you have mentioned that you cannot get this car in all-wheel drive. And where we live, all-wheel drive is a big deal. And so um, they reduced their volume of, of soles and increased their volume of Seltos. And so we're, we're not selling as many soles, but that's just because we don't have them. If we had them, they do sell, yeah, absolutely. They sell really well used um, and they have really good resale value. Yep. So. One thing I will say, um, a couple years ago, they made just some really cool soles. They always had fun colors. They had the two-tone soles. It's always been a funky car, and they embrace the funkiness. Yeah. It, <laughs> so fun fact, you were talking about how it looks it's like hipsters. a stormtrooper. Yeah. Um, during COVID, when you could, like here, we, we couldn't, we had to do like drive-by birthday parties. Yeah. So I had four white soles and a black one leading them, and I had them all playing the Emperor's March as we drove by my friends for his birthday. Oh, no. Yeah. It was awesome. I thought so anyways. Oh, God. I wish I had it on video. <laughs> oh, maybe I do. <laughs> um, my daughter is a single mom with a seven-year-old young child. This seems to be a great vehicle for her. I'd be concerned with the safety aspect of the vehicle. Is there any rear airbags? So there's airbags throughout the vehicle, yeah, yes. Yeah, there's six airbags, and yeah. um, it has good crash tests. So I, I remember I put my new driving daughters into souls to drive, so I don't have any concerns about safety. and. Yeah. Great cars. It's, it's a great car. Pat's looking nice today. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gary says, our daughter is on her third soul. She loves them. We love them too. They're great souls. I find a lot of people that own souls come back for more souls. Yeah. Like they love them. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> They'll trade in a soul for another soul. Yeah. Uh, can I get a soul if I have no soul? I'm pretty sure if you're on this conversation, you have a soul. We sell I don't know what here. the state of your soul is. <laughs> But we sell them. If you want a secondary one, we sell them. We also yeah. buy them on trade, so <laughs> let yeah. us know. Um, is there any issues Kia Soul EX 2023? I mean, that's a really broad question. Uh, there's nothing I've noticed. The only issue is we don't get enough of them. Yeah, that is the <laughs> issue. Uh, the business plan just doesn't call for as many. And so it has been 90 days since we've had a Soul. Yeah, it's been a while. So, so when I saw we were getting this one, especially in this color, I wanted to film it. This color is stunning. <laughs> Lunar orange, if you're if you're curious. Pat test should include Pat in the trunk. What happened to your sidekick, Char? Charlotte was here today. Um, I She's don't... on maternity. Yeah, and... you guys don't remember she was pregnant. <laughs> yeah, and so uh, she came in to visit. I got puked on. Yeah. <laughs> it's been great. Pat came up to me, he's like, so Evie puked on me. <laughs> like, that's great. <laughs> yeah, she got me good. So, all fun. <laughs> um, um, does it come in a manual? It, it, first gen, it did come in a manual, but no, it doesn't come in a manual in, in Canada anymore. Another hot take, they got rid of the turbo option for the Kia Soul. So now, although we still have a GT Line Limited, it's still a naturally aspirated, same powertrain as what we have here. So a lot of people <laughs> are upset about Ronex, that. love or hate relationship. Yeah. Yes. And so, that's the way the soul always has been. You either like, been like it or, or you don't. Yeah. But it, it's beaten everything else in the segment. Like, yes. remember the Nissan Cube? Cube. Ooh. Oh, ugly Ooh. car. Yeah. yeah, all the other square cars, um, the Scion, I think, XB, 
I think it was the XB. Yeah. They, they had a square too. Yeah. None of them lasted. They didn't, they didn't do it, whereas Seoul is done well. And strong. <laughs> it's kind of a takeoff, like, you know, Seoul, Korea is, uh, is their capital. And so they just changed the words, but it's a takeoff off of the heritage of Kia. Yeah. So, yeah, the grand bath, the grand kid bath. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what you call it. She got me good. Uh, so. One day, Charlotte brought her in on a live and she threw up. Oh, did she? <laughs> I think oh. Charlotte got to talk for a minute, and then Evie just, yeah. <laughs> um, so interestingly yeah. enough, uh, for those of you who like data, um, Kia Canada just celebrated its uh, number one first quarter that it's ever had. And so the previous record was a little over 15,000 units, and this year was over 20,000 units. So we crushed the previous, crushed, crushed the previous <laughs> record. <laughs> uh, which I think is amazing. And also, you know, for those of you who saw it, the New York Auto Show, the EV9 was released, mm -hmm. and it looks absolutely amazing. And so you have to be an EV certified dealer, which means you have to have, um, you know, a stage two and a half charger. You have to have a minimum of two techs fully certified, you know, because you're dealing with um, like three days worth of electricity in a car. And so you got to have people that can work on it. And yeah. your salespeople have to be trained. And so we have all of those things. We sell EVs. Yes. Um, my dad's first reaction was, that's an ugly car. Reaction after he sat in it and drove it off. Um, this is a great car. It's easy for me to get out of and then bought one. That's exactly right. That's what everyone says. Literally so, everybody. <laughs> um, we thought that the, the people who would buy it would be on the younger mm -hmm. uh, end. But we find a lot of retired people or a lot of seniors who have mobility issues, this is the car because it's a good size for parking yep. and you don't sit down and you don't sit up too high. You just kind of slide over. Yeah, they so. just kind of, they literally just hop in the car, hop out. There's no real ducking or stepping into the vehicle. And then you still get the increased ride height too, almost like an SUV, right? So you feel very comfortable in the vehicle. Um, <laughs> what about the Kia Soul recently got fire narrow escape for passenger? Uh, we had one. Uh, where the guy hadn't done his maintenance mm -hmm. and the car, uh, we told them, listen, tow it in. No, yeah. no, I'm going to drive it. I'm going to drive it. Yeah. So um, it, it had something faulty in it and it spewed oil everywhere and the car caught on fire. Yeah. But I mean, in that particular case, it wasn't a design flaw. It was a customer flaw. And I literally had to run out and put it out. Do you remember that? I don't think I was here when that happened. Yeah. Was I? I don't know. Maybe they, it was my day off. They, yeah. <laughs> that sounds crazy I mean, though. It was, uh, anyways, it was an exciting day. I mean, I guess. Is and, he okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the customer was totally fine, but he if he had to just listened to us and had it towed, we could have prevented all of it. Like, you yeah. can't have oil leaking out. Yeah. You, like, it's going to catch on fire. So. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, I don't know why I got off on that, but. Um, I think Gabby herself single handedly enabled Kia to crush the record. So, yeah, I mean, I'm I not going to say I did it, but I may have had some. I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, just, you got fans. Yeah, that's what happens when you guys have great products. <laughs> yeah. It, guys, our cars, they're, they're crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's... Kia and Hyundai are really, really hot. They're, it's amazing. When I started with the brand, um, it was the alternative to a used car, and now it's people buy it because they like the product. Yeah. They like the quality. They like the looks. They like the features. They like the price. Even seeing, like, the three cars I've driven, they're all, like, kind of very different generations of Kia. So my first was an 07. It was a nice car, but there was really nothing special about it. it. Wasn't that beautiful, nothing. But it was reliable, very, very reliable. My second car, that's when you got into some nice design. Yep. Things got a little bit more fancy. We had all the German influence on our that's design team. That's when Peter Schreier started yeah. and influenced how the cars looked. And then now it's just technology, 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 features, fuel efficiency, everything I want in my car. It surprises me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the brand, and now we've got EVs, yep. hybrids, plug-in hybrids, when a Everything. lot of other brands don't have it. And we've got, you know, a bunch of new product in the pipe that we'll have over the next couple of years. So um, I scrolled up a bit. Someone said, I'm surprised it's not push start. So that's right. It's switchblade key, which uh, some people do prefer the switchblade key, I will say. Um, what do you like? I like push to start just because it's what I'm used to now. Yeah, because you can cars leave, your, had it. leave yeah. your key in your purse and you don't have to get it out. Yeah, I frequently carry a bag, so it's nice to just toss everything in there and get into my car. Um, but some people do really like the peace of mind of having a real key. And I mean, there is a push to start option in the Kia Soul, so if that's something you absolutely need, there's a Kia Soul for you.
If not, there's still a Kia Soul for you. Um, <laughs> let's All right, see. so we've been on for 29 minutes. We've got 54 likes. Horn test. So, like, should you stand in front of the car while I honk the horn? Pat, I might die. <laughs> okay, horn test. <laughs> I'll hop in there and honk the horn. Maybe to the chime of Old MacDonald, how to farm. Very peppy. <laughs> That's the horn test, guys. That's a very happy horn. The okay, horn we... test everybody wanted. Um, let's see, hit we... the like button. Yay. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching and for the comments. We got some good comments now. Um, let's see if there's any other questions you may have missed. Oh, Angel put a nice comment in there. Thanks, Angel. That's <laughs> lovely. We certainly appreciate your support. We see on just about every video. Yeah, so Angel, she always has good questions too. Oh, She's yeah. always got great questions for me. Yeah, it's gets cha my brain challenges working. our knowledge. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Oh, it's always um, nice to see you. There was a question there about when is Kia going to be 100% electric? And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I, I know the US is really pushing towards, you know, the next seven years having 60% of the cars out there electric, but I don't think it's reasonable. I don't think it's going to happen. I think plug-in hybrid and hybrid is really the way it's going to go. So I, I'm betting that internal combustion is still here for a while. Yeah. Like just one guy's opinion. You guys let me know what you think, but that's what I think. I trust your opinion, Pat. <laughs> well, that's good. I agree. <laughs> um, solar Seltos, which one has good mileage and is fun to drive and more reliable? So they're pretty similar in fuel efficiency. They're not too, too far off. The Seltos does have, um, the Sol is a little bit better in fuel efficiency wise. Um, one thing I will say, the Seltos does offer a turbocharged option. So if you're looking for something more fun to drive, that might be your pick. The other thing um, is you can get all wheel drive, yeah, which you can't Seltos. get in the Sol. So I don't think there's a wrong answer. It just depends on your needs. Yeah. And of course, styling may be a thing for you. You may absolutely love the look of the Kia Soul, or you may not. And then same thing with the Seltos. Um, let's see. So is the new... <laughs> so the new capital Korea is now Seltos. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Christian, you're funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, the big issue is charging your car when you live in an apartment or even a condo complex. Yeah, that, that can be complicated because you, you may not have access to exterior chargers. Now, I mean, we are seeing a lot more high-speed charges out there. Yeah. And um, It's getting more accessible it, for it's sure. It's getting more accessible, but you still have to produce the power you know, like California has rolling blackouts from time to time. Yeah. And they're an EV adopter. So if imagine if they were 60% EV, like I, what are they going to do to produce the power? So. Yeah. That was a good one. What? <laughs> a good take. No, a good point. Yeah. Um, are they going to burn coal? I mean, <laughs> that defeats the purpose of going EV, isn't it? It's true. It's true. <laughs> Um, is HD FM radio standard in the base soul? So FM AM radio, yes, but it's not HD. Um, it will cost close to 5000 to put a level 2 charger in my condo complex parking spot. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's I expensive. mean, the charger you can get for six or $700, but if you don't have the wiring and stuff there, um, yeah. and, and people that live in a single-family residential, I mean, it's not very expensive data at that stage, too. But, I mean, a lot of times you only need, like, I charge mine on 110. Yeah. That's because I don't go anywhere. Yeah. And you can also charge it at work. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I, well, when I, you put it like that. <laughs> I discount my comment. Ignore it. Strike it from the record. All right, guys. I think, well, we're past 30 minutes for sure. We're at 33 minutes, so we'll probably end off today's video. We'll be back to lives almost every single day starting next week. Yeah. Um, 2 p.m., don't forget. And then we got tons of exciting vehicles. So we're getting a bunch of cars in recently. So many cars. It's hard to keep track. And we haven't <laughs> forgotten about doing our tire mobility yeah, no, kit. We haven't I have the tire mobility kit in my office set aside for us to use it. Yeah. We are going to film that. Next week? I've said that a couple times, so I'm not going to commit to a timeline, but let's plan on next week. We're going to do it, guys. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but it is absolutely stunning. I think it's 25 degrees today. Yesterday was the same thing. It doesn't feel like spring, so hopefully we'll get a good day to do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We certainly appreciate your support. If you like us, like the video. If you want to share it. If you don't like us, like the video. If you don't like us, like the video. 